Ezra was a priest of Israel still living in Babylon. He was an expert in teaching God's law. Suddenly, we jump ahead about 60 years, and the Persian Empire has a new king, Artaxerxes. <laughs> How'd you like to have two X's in your name? Ahem. So King Artaxerxes sends the priest Ezra back to Jerusalem to help the Israelites learn God's law again. When Ezra finally gets to Jerusalem 80 years after Cyrus first said the Israelites could go home, he doesn't like what he sees. Remember what got King Solomon into trouble? Let me think. He started collecting wives from other lands who worshipped other gods. Pretty soon he was worshipping other gods too. He wasn't true to God, and that led to a bunch of bad stuff happening. The kingdom splitting apart, and eventually all of them getting carried off into exile. Right. And that's just what the men of Israel were doing again. They'd been marrying women from the tribes around them that worshipped other gods. Ezra knew God's rules and knew what happened because of Solomon. So what'd he do? He freaked out. He tore his clothes and pulled hair from his head and his beard to show how upset he was. That's kind of unusual. It's what people did back then. Then he called out to God, confessing their sin. As the people heard him praying, they gathered together and called out to God too. They all confessed their sin. At the end of the book of Ezra, the people repent of their sin and turn back to God one more time. Repent, that means to change your ways, to turn away from what you're doing wrong, right? Right. So the women that worshipped other gods were sent back home to their families. And once more, Israel tried to get back on track.